Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practice and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearer arms. I'm still writing songs. Never want to leave my home. Stay in the sheets. Sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising stack piling. She got her own money. We just high fiving sexual organs. Cause that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use Use Lancome, but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack hey, cheddar. Hey, uh. I know you're waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you've been waiting for another episode. I know you've been waiting. Yeah, let it fucking go. I know you got this. Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom Where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed Can of brew from the fucking stove What's goody? What's goody? What's goody? What's goody? Hey, 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 hey. I am Lord Shoe X, and you watching Lord of Perfected Work. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. If you ain't been to my website, shoeloversrebels.com, you should check that bitch out. Got a lot of shit on there. And you know what it is. Back with another episode. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Lord Shoe X, man. Sorry I was gone yesterday, man. Ladies and gents, all my people watching the stream, I'm sorry I was gone. Just, uh, you know how it is. Sometimes you gotta take a break. Sometimes you gotta rest so you can get your energy right and shit. So when you get on these streams, you ain't just on here wilding the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? So... Today's episode is called I Am Already Home. Introduction keys to the island. The reason why you fucking watching Lord of Perfected Work is the keys to the island. This is my spiritual system created by myself. And today I am introducing it to you. The person who came and made it this far into watching this many streams with your boy Lord Shoe X. I greatly appreciate it. And because of that, I'm going to gift y'all today with the introduction to the keys which I live by and which I feel will help many other people just like I always tell y'all on these streams my healing is your healing so best believe I got some words to share with y'all today uh, I forgot to turn my phone off in the background so you might hear some messages and shit coming through but it's okay I'm not finna answer them if you are watching this from outside of Twitch, please make a Twitch channel and subscribe to the channel. If you have Amazon Prime, you can actually subscribe to my channel for free for a month at tier one. So please take advantage. And when you make your subscription to this channel, please turn on the notification so that you know when I'm going live, okay? Because that's what this stream is about. Being in touch with the family so that we can have real dialogue talking about real things. So without further ado, keys to the island. Damn. It's a long time coming, y'all. The keys I live by. But I'm going to break them down to you exactly what they mean and what they are. 
So the first key, matter of fact, let me pull out the Bible. So y'all so y'all know exactly what it is. The first key, spirit and work balance. What I mean by spirit and work balance is you find a time to live your life. You find a time to do your spiritual work and you find a time to work, which is just the labor or whatever it is you use to get your money or to create your lifestyle. You find a balance between these three things and you serve each of these things equally. But one does not override the other because when they do, you might end up becoming too involved into one thing. You start to be, forget your keys. And once you forget your keys, you start to stray away from your true path and your life purpose. The next key, mastering skills. Everybody has a particular skill that they're born with that they will do for free. Master that skill. And all other skills that you uh, feel innately drawn to, master those skills as well. And you will start to see exactly what your purpose in life is because through mastering skills, or well, not mastering skills, but mastering the skills that you feel innately drawn to, you will start to realize that these skills will lead you down a rabbit hole into who you really are and who you or what you're truly supposed to be doing. So mastering skills. So right now we have spirit, work balance, lifestyle balance, mastering skills. OK, next is study daily. Whether you study in this daily, where you study in the keys daily, or whether you study in whatever you're, it is pertaining to mastering your skills, you study in your spiritual path that you know, you know, works for you, feels comfortable within you, study it every day. Keep that shit fresh in your mind every day. Because as soon as you stop, remember, consistency is the key. Because it's easy to be distracted. To to end distraction is to focus. To create focus is consistency. Okay? So, study daily. Doesn't matter what you're studying daily. As long as it's pertaining to your lifestyle, study that shit every day. Now, the next key. Collaborate with like-minded people. Everybody has a soul tribe. That's what That's what the New Age spiritual community calls it. The soul tribe. Everybody has people that they can collaborate with and it's effortless, seamless. Y'all can bounce ideas off of each other and these people don't want for nothing but to see you succeed just as much as you want to see them succeed. You don't go seeking out these people in life. What you do is you raise your vibration by having that spirit lifestyle work balance, mastering the skills that you are innately drawn to, Studying every day so that you can be in the league of these people who you aspire to be like or you aspire to have the knowledge of these people that you that you're uh, wanting to be around. When you do that shit, your vibration already raised besides eating a good diet, drinking plenty of water, you know, normal stuff and just being in a good state of mind. You'll begin to attract these like minded people. And the big the biggest thing here is. You preparing yourself for when they show up by doing these things, by staying on your purpose. You preparing yourself for the people that you want to collaborate with and create new new shit with, new ideas and and new forms of creativity and new systems in the world that you feel will be able to help people. The next key: show love, be love. Okay, when you are the love, you don't have to expect love from people. And you don't have to show love to a bunch of people by, um, by, okay, let me put it like this. If you're going out your way to show love to somebody who isn't reciprocating certain types of energy to you, and it may not even be love, but you're just going out your way to do the shit because you feel like, oh, if I pressure them with love, like, nah, just show love by being the love. Show love. That's, that's what this statement means. Show love by being the love that you want from somebody else. And once you get that person, then it's easy because all you're doing is you're just with another version of yourself. Because remember, like I previously said, when your vibration is high, you start to attract the people that you want because you already in that energy. Show love, be the love. The next key, self-reflect daily. 
every day, whether it be before you go to work or before you go, to, you know, handle your day, or if after you done did everything in a day and you get home and you self reflect, or you can do both times. Whatever you are mentally and emotionally capable of, just self reflect every day. Reflect on how the day went, how you reacted to certain shit. Don't be so critical. Just reflect. Why did I do this? Wonder. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, you can always wonder about why you do certain things because the more you know yourself, the more you know higher power. The more you know source. The more you know the universe. The more you know God, Jehovah. The more you self-reflect, the more you will align with that energy. Easily. Easier. The next key. Live your truth. Now, after you done done all this, all of these previous keys, living your truth will will simply be to uh, help people align through your actions, and not by you forcing them or going out of your way to show them actions, but actually just living, being the living word. Being the living word is when you become that that entity where people will want to emulate. Because you about what you you about what you say, you living out what you what you say you do. If if you are like it's just like a rapper. If the rapper gets on a song talking about I I shoot niggas and I fucked all the bad bitches and I drink hella liquor and I smoke all the weed and I'm I'm sipping all the lean. I got lean that you don't got because the original lean is gone, but I still get that lean because I'm that nigga. You respect the rapper more. When he actually is living that shit out. And that's probably a terrible example. But I'm just going to use a modern day example. People worship Jesus. Because when Jesus spoke. It wasn't just him talking. He was living that shit. And it's hard to live something that seems almost impossible. But Jesus did it. And he said that you could do it too. You know what I'm saying? So when you live your truth. And you start to go out into the world and you expressing yourself in all ways that you feel within yourself is the way. Living that truth will potentially help others to live out their truth. And eventually they might even live your truth as well. Care for yourself and family is the last key. When you care for yourself and your when you, first when you care for yourself, you care for your family. Okay? There's no doubt in my mind that when one cares about themselves, they care about everything else around them. Because that energy is what what keeps shit afloat. You don't you don't want to uh, go out of your way to help people that don't want to be helped though. That's why being intelli emotionally intelligent helps you create better boundaries. See, these past few days, I actually been going through making my my emotional intelligence better, working on that, raising the wisdom of my my emotions. Or the energy and emotion is what how I was explaining what emotion was was energy and emotion. So those are the those are the keys that I live by. Now there's a code that I also live by as well. And this code is a uh, a number of principles that following these principles will make following the keys a fucking you know what I'm saying that shit ain't gonna be nothing. So let's see. Let's see if we can find the codes. I may have written them down in here, actually. I tried to keep it all in one place so I wouldn't have to flip through a million books. Yep. All right. So the lifestyle, the principles that we live by here at Shoe Loves Rebels, the real principles, loyalty. Matter of fact, I'll just break it down. Loyalty. Being loyal. It's easy to switch sides, you know what I'm saying? It's so easy in this day and age because people don't believe in love, which is why you show the love, you be you show love by being love, okay? Which creates loyalty. When you when you're real when you're the real deal, people will be loyal to you and your cause. They're not gonna go out of their way to try and bring you down unless they just truly hate you. And really all hate is is confused love. Really all emotions are confused love. That one can transmute all these new emotional energies back into what their original form is, which is love. All emotions are based in love. All of them. In order for one to understand that truly is to work on that emotional intelligence. 
Now, this is this is a gem that I got from my therapy session with 1111 over the past few days. When you feel those energies come into you, those different energies, well, just those tainted versions of love, and you're not sure how to deal with that shit, don't react to it first. The smartest thing you can do emotionally is to take that energy of whatever emotion is not love and to find a way with each emotion to transmute it back to love. Which is probably the greatest shit I ever learned over this weekend. When you take the time to work on each individual emotion, well, I know I'm angry, but how can I turn this anger into love? To me, that's passion. When you become passionate about something because you know you know how bad you want it to be so, you use that anger to fuel the love. You use the anger to turn the love into something that goes beyond even beyond the ideal of the the normal what what love is. It, you can turn it into something that just can make shit better. Cause now you're redirecting that energy back into love and the love is making you do new shit, creating new ideas. And you can apply this to any emotion, okay? Each emotion, sadness. Most of the time, sadness comes from love. But just turn it back into love. There's a number of steps that comes with that, though. You might have to forgive somebody. You see how that shit, like, can heal you so easily just by doing that simple-ass shit. Just when a new emotion comes, why am I jealous? Because I, I aspire to be like this person. Or I just don't like how they moving. How can I how can I bring that back to love? See, for me, it would I have my own way of doing that. It's different for everybody, which is why you can never really just subject one type of lifestyle to one person because everybody has their own shit. But I tried to find a lifestyle that you could live that is so general and broad. As long as long as you follow it to a degree, it'll just bring you back to nature. Almost like being a plant, a walking, living plant. Loyalty is the first principle. When you have loyalty with yourself and you're not switching up on yourself, people see that. People can feel that because they inside your tourist field, especially if you have a community of your own. That loyalty will, will build others to be loyal. Honesty. When you upfront about what you're doing, it's hard for people to be able to talk shit about what you're doing or talk shit on you or talk shit to you. It's just it's just impossible. When you up front, the only way they're talking shit, they just basically they just having confused admiration because they just like, man, this man or this woman is just so honest. Like I can't what what else can I say about them? They everybody already knows everything about what they're doing. Yeah, there's certain things that you can keep under wraps. But as long as you honest, all you're doing is keeping certain shit under wraps so that you can protect your ideas, so that you can protect your family, so that you can protect your creativity and your soul and your energy. Integrity. Doing shit with integrity. If you if you got a business and you subjecting people to child labor or whatever, you know, just some wild ass shit, all you doing is creating your own downfall. When you do shit with integrity... The only way that you'll have a downfall is when all your haters just get so fed up with you just being so honest and, and full of integrity that they just coming after your ass because they just done with your shit. But that's the thing. When you emit positive energy, shit like that rarely ever happens because you're doing shit with integrity. Integrity raises your vibration. Loyalty raises your vibration. Honesty raises your vibration. Strength. Having the strength to push through that bullshit when niggas come at you, when you just that nigga, when you loyal, honest, and uh, with integrity, bro, mad niggas gonna be hating. But you gotta have the strength to push through that shit. Strength to be able to create and stand on the world stage and not be afraid to push through that shit. Because having all of these things is gonna make you a, a high vibrating being. And you will attract pieces of fucking shit. But it's okay, because when you show love and you be the love, eventually that high vibration going to change motherfuckers anyways. Okay? Your, your perception is subject to your thoughts and your feelings. So be weary, my niggas.
Be wary. Balance. See how I talked about in the keys where you have your lifestyle, your spiritual, and your work balance. Balancing is probably the main thing that's going to keep keep it possible to do loyalty, honesty, integrity, and strength. Because when you're imbalanced, it's just hard to stay on, on all of these keys or these principles. And it's going to be harder to stay on the keys because when you're not following the principles, it's going to be hard for you to not follow. It's going to be easier for you to fuck up following the keys. You're going to be doing one or two of them, but not all of them. You follow all these keys and all these principles, and it's you can't lose. Literally, you can't fucking lose. Vision. You got to remember through the whole shit. This is what's going to fuel your strength is the vision. When you got vision and you got strength and you got honesty, loyalty, and integrity and balance, dude, while you holding your vision, you can't lose. What, you, what you're aspiring to do will come to fruition. The manifestation is going to come to fruition. Faith. Strength and faith go hand in hand. But faith goes beyond your physical self. You having faith in yourself. You having faith in nature. You having faith in high power and source. You having faith in all of these things and creating that balance within yourself while having faith in yourself is, is the most important shit. Faith is what's going to keep you in the game. Faith is what, what's going to get you more lives in the game. Because now you doing shit... You, when you have faith and you follow all these other principles, faith with loyalty, honesty, integrity, strength, balance, and vision creates miracles, okay? Miracles. Void. The void. Remember, we are always in a void. We're always in a portal. This world that you see around you is your perception of your reality, which is the perception of your thoughts and your feelings. Is what, what your life is. If we're in a constant void, that means all creation is to be created. This void that we live in is literally a blank slate that as soon as you're born, you have the option of what you're gonna do, what you're gonna create, what you're gonna what your life path already is. You already paved the way for that in the void that you're in. And remember, you're it might seem like you're growing and you becoming an adult and all these things, but remember. Within you is the same thing that fused with the egg. Granted, it might, through time, this body is, yeah, it's still here. Whatever. When you bury it in the earth, your, your, pre, your body from your past life is still on this planet. Think about them apples. You may, you may think you have died, but you're right back here. So remember, you're always in a void. You're always in a womb, okay? You're always in an egg. Me if, me talking to you right now, I'm talking through, I am the sperm speaking through this egg. Okay, you're always in a void of creativity. Self. In order for you to change the world, one must change themselves. In order for you to change reality, one must change themselves. The change that you want to see in the world, you must see in yourself, okay? Self is the is important. All these principles are important because it takes all these things to manifest your, your, greatest, your greatest gift to humanity, to the universe, and to everything in between. When you do this shit, you manifest this shit. All while being in the energy of love, which is the last principle. Love. When you're doing all these things, these principles, with the energetic vibration of love, which is the second highest vibration, you got enlightenment, which basically you understand love on a on a physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, etherically, uh, just every scale you understand what love is and how to create from that love, how to how the world can benefit through you from that from that energy. The true creation. Using the love energetic signature in the void of creation. Possibilities are endless. And when you have your major life path, the one that you that you realize what is your true life path. Which, in order for you to find that, 
one must invoke the energy of themselves to be readily available to receive in that gift. Because you already put it out in the universe for yourself to receive it. So once you do that shit, then you're able to go back to nature. Truly and holy. Because to create is nature. To be alive is nature. Because everything around us is always living, never ending. So those are the principles and the keys. This is the introduction to the keys to the island. If you made it this far... Appreciate you for watching this far. I'm Lord Shuex, and you're watching another episode of Lord Perfected Work. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. I know I've said this a few times, and people wondering, what is a polymath? Well, I'll explain to you what a polymath is. A polymath is one who is a master of many skills, one who understands many things, which is why I made one of my keys is mastering skills. All the ones that you understand that resonate with you and innately you are drawn to when you master each skill no one can tell you shit about it no one can come to you and try to knock you off of who you are when it comes to that skill because you are so wholly involved into it that it, it makes you understand your skill on a spiritual level to the point where when you create when you do whatever your skill is it's almost god it's almost godlike it's god's work this is holy work. So a polymath is a person who has many skills that they do on God level. God like. So I'm a polymath. I took very many times in my life and past lives to understand the shit that I know now. And passed it on to myself. Passed it down through my own bloodline, through myself. And tapped into the energies necessary to understand certain shit. But that don't mean my journey's done because there's more I want to understand about the universe and myself. So I wrote a lot of books in my life to kind of touch on a lot of these points that I feel a lot of people kind of skip over as far as scientific community and shit like that. Because when you have skills that you tap into on a spiritual level, you start to get new ideas inside of that skill. And as much as I study, having ideas, this shit almost is funny because you start to study shit at such a deep level that you understand that you don't know shit. So you start to raise these ideas up and eventually I will create a Discord channel where we can all discuss these ideas that I have and I want to know people's takes on these ideas which is why today I'm introducing Keys to the Island to y'all which if you're just now coming into this and watching this live stream basically the Keys to the Island is my spiritual system that I created so that people can live a life of peace understanding uh, a life based in nature I just got tired of seeing how terrible that women were being treated how terrible that men are being treated how terrible children are being treated how terrible the planet is being treated and granted that might be all that we see on fake media all the time but at the same time there's a lot of good in the world that needs to be exposed and i am exposing it the the way that i feel it should be exposed from my creative void which is why the void is one of my principles with certain shit and reality going on right now, it's best that we move back to a state of nature and understanding with our great mother, which is this planet, and our great father, which is what we're surrounded by. But always remember that we came from the void, and the void is the great mother. So as many bodies as the mother produces will always be children to this great void. And throughout time, I feel as if my understanding of that should be shared with the world more. And I feel like this is my purpose in my lifetime is to help people have the understanding of what what it really means to be a part of the land and what it really means to be a part of nature. Granted, I don't go outside much except to take care of Mother Earth and to 
potentially align with her energy when I feel it's necessary for my spiritual growth, I will go and interact with Mother Earth. But for the most part, if it were up to me, I would be always in Mother Earth if there was a way that I could do it on a modern level. Because not only am I balanced and understanding of the importance of Mother Earth, I'm also balanced in the understanding of knowing that Science is also important. Original sciences, though, the sciences that create nature, not these new sciences that people are just now catching up to what nature has already taught us in ancient times. And they just reiterated through the eyes of the colonizer. So one thing for sure, two things for certain. If if I'm ever speaking about science and technology, I'm talking from the point of view where it can benefit humanity and not take away from what we've already built as the human race. And I don't mean technology. I mean the cultures of the world that we created and the languages. Because now that we've been cursed from the beginning and our languages and our cultures have been scattered across the world instead of just being what it originally was... It's using this information and becoming a world citizen. When people go out of their way to become a citizen of the world and respect all cultures and respect all languages and all people, that's when the real magic will happen because now we're having dialogue amongst cultures and amongst race races and you know all these fake divisions that have been created. See, it takes one who's balanced to understand that all these constructs can be completely dissolved. But it's going to take you truly believing in yourself and the understanding of, of the principles and the keys that I just told you about in this live stream. Anyone can dissolve all the separation devices being used by the leaders of the world because it only takes a leader for someone to believe that this person is wrong, this person is wrong, this person is wrong. This, this country's wrong, this country's this, this country's that. It takes a certain certain type of leader for enough people to believe that. Because I'm pretty sure I spoke on a, on a recent live stream that we all in a cosmic soup of our consciousness, okay? When we all believe in one thing, that is the reality. And when the people who are in control of the things that we use or the resources, which we've subscribed to them, out of fear, out of misunderstanding of self. See, one can completely eradicate all of this shit by simply just taking the time to look past all the division devices and to genuinely go to another person who you would consider your enemy and, and completely dissolve all the things that make them your enemy. And then coming with the principles I taught you, loyalty, honesty, Integrity, strength, balance, vision, faith, void, self, and love. Coming at every individual with these principles and using the keys every day will make it easier for you to become a citizen of this world. Because remember, we all a part of this fucking world together. We were cursed, okay? Primordial beings were cursed because we, we let go of that idea of nature because we created a division. When colonization came... It was a new division. We seen people we never really seen before in our lands. But instead of instead of creating a division amongst ourselves, we we accepted them with open arms, but for the wrong reasons. We accepted them with open arms because of money, lust. Same shit that goes on today in the world today. It's just the same shit. But anything can be changed. Remember, when one changes self, the world will change. But enough people got to believe in what you're talking about, in your cause. Got to believe in how you moving. Because if you move in a certain type of way, it's hard for people to want to fucking, you know, they're not going to rock with you. Because they're like, oh yeah, he might be talking like this. But in real life, this nigga be on some other shit. So you got to understand that no matter what, what you're doing is important to the world. 
whether it be good, whether it be evil. If you think that what you're doing is going to change how the, the course of history is going to be to a better way, sometimes you got to do fucked up shit. That's just how shit goes. Our predecessors knew this. This is why we have the modern world we do today. Granted, we might not be on our original continent, some of us. I'm home. I'm already home. That's why I named this stream that. Because, see, it's a lot of shit, too, that all sides have confused each other with. Remember, if all the world was a certain color before, and the history we learning about, yeah, it might have been the color of their faces might have been changed. But if all the world looked like this at one point, and over time it gradually got to this point, some of these people in the history book don't look how these paintings look. Everything is created by certain people so they can keep up a certain rhetoric. So you got to use discernment. But I can't tell you what to do. All I can do is give you this game right now. This ultimate ass shit that's going to let you know, hey, there's something going on here that smells fishy. But you know what? I don't even have to subscribe to figuring what figuring out what it is. What the main thing you got to subscribe to really, really, truly is how can I make myself the best person, the best version of myself so that when people look at me, they forget that bullshit. They see a new a new human. They see a new way of living. They see a new way of living. A new form of love in the physical flesh. How can I be that? It's only one way to really do that. And it's you taking upon yourself to figuring out your own spiritual system. But I ain't gonna lie. I got the motherfucking book for you if you need a starting point. Because everybody who watches this channel, I know that you looking to change something within yourself. And to find your true purpose and how you want the world to really look in your eyes. Everybody who watches this channel, that's the reason why you watch it. So that you can get the free game. So that you can get the understanding and the overstanding. And I appreciate you for that. Because I appreciate how big your heart is and how much passion you have towards bringing change to the world. Positive good change to the world. So don't worry. I'm a like-minded individual, and you should be fucking connected with me if you haven't already. That's why I got my website here. I want to know the people who want to make a change in the world, but who might be looking to someone as someone that they can be um, an apprentice under. All I got is time, yo. But it's going to cost you. Believe that, but I got time, all right? So I don't, I don't mind giving my energy up as long as you're willing to pay the price to get that energy up. We good. But just know the information I'm giving you is going to be some shit you, you haven't heard before. It's going to be some shit that you won't find in no library unless you just look in how I look. But see, that's the thing. I took all the hard work out the way for you. That's why I'm saying you, you won't find this unless you just look. This shit took me... 20 years to put together okay studying other spiritual systems be, becoming a theology theology expert fucking studying science math every fucking thing bro you're not gonna find this shit nowhere else straight up and i'm not just saying this like i sound like the indian dude in the middle of the mall but i'm being straight up with you like i put a lot of effort into the information that i compiled which I actually have this book finished. Uh, it's called The Hybrid Manual. And basically, The Hybrid Manual is about becoming an androgynous leader in the, the latest century that we're in. We'll just say the 21st century. <laughs> but becoming a broadened leader for the, for the Generation Z, the next who come after, the Rainbow Children. We have to start being masters so that these young young generations won't remember us for being the people who we set them up to for failure. I don't want them to remember us by that. Granted, we might be I may be on here streaming, but this is where the younger generation is. They on they on Twitch, they on social media. 
See, I'm willing to go out of my way. I just made a TikTok. Y'all should add me. Matter of fact, let me figure out what the fuck it is. Matter of fact, it's on my website. Just go to my website, truelovesrebels.com, and my TikTok is on there. And you can add me on there. I'll be doing videos about pretty much everything on the TikTok as well. So if I ain't streaming, I'm going to probably be on TikTok. But y'all know where I really be at, though. Instagram. That's my shit. I be on IG like a motherfucker. So, if you're looking for the kid, I'm on IG at Shoe Loves Rebels LLC. I also have a Lord Shoe X Instagram. You can add that. I have a Facebook for Shoe Loves Rebels LLC and a Lord Shoe Facebook. So, I'm always I'm always looking to connect with the people. All right. Best believe that. No matter what, I never give up. As many times as I get weak, just go to let you know what what it takes when you're really dealing with trying to make change in the world. You got to figure out everything about yourself. It's not easy, man. But when you got a group, a support group, or somebody behind you that support what you're doing, you got to be strong for them as well as yourself. Always be strong for yourself first. But you got to be strong for the people who lifting you up and making sure that you getting on here every day. And doing your shit and getting on your grind. No matter what. To uplift yourself is to uplift others. So, um, the last thing I really wanted to go into for real, for real, is food. And how food is important. It's a huge important, like a, a very important part to being in charge of your life. As far as being a primordial being, y'all already know who y'all got to look to. Y'all can y'all can rock with Dr. Sebi. Dr. Sebi has probably the greatest meal plan for a primordial person, as well as as well as humans. But see, humans, y'all can eat anything. Y'all really can eat any fucking thing, and it's it's gonna go either way. But the thing is, an electric diet. Works better for everybody, and I'm gonna just keep it real for you. I I would advise, you know, I'm not a. This is for entertainment purposes only. This whole video, this is to make you laugh, and cry, and high and buy. Okay. So, I recommend to everybody that you eat an electric diet. Okay, you are literally a walking battery. So why not charge your blood, charge your brain, charge your immune system, charge your nervous system all these things are charged by the foods that you eat so when you eat a lot of dead food you're gonna feel dead which is why i feel dead a lot of time because i eat pretty shitty sometimes but it's only because i have chosen to right now when one experiments on themselves for for science and knowledge it makes it easier for me to teach y'all about new shit because what better vessel to experiment on than self which is why self is a huge Huge principle in my uh, in my principles as far as the keys to the island. When you experiment on yourself, you know exactly to the T, personalize exactly what your body willing to take, what your body willing to not take. Because there might be shit that other people can eat that you might not can eat. There might be shit that you can eat that other people might not can eat. When you work on your body, you have to personalize the experience to yourself. But that doesn't mean I can't give you free upgrades so i'm not gonna list off everything that would be good for you to consume because everything has its limits so what i'll talk about is the molecular diet and how you can basically reprogram yourself through how you eat so I'm sure y'all have heard of amino acids. Amino acids are the build the building blocks to how your body transfers light into energy. So when you go outside every day, if you go outside every day, when you go outside and you take in the information of the sun, you're literally taking that and you're turning it into energy. Same thing applies to food. Now, think about life like this, okay? The sun feeds the plants. 
and the plants grow fruit and seed. Well, the plants grow flower, fruit, seed, or tree. So the sun is literally being transmuted by a plant into fruit, leaf, seed, root. The, the whole shit becomes an edible form simply by the sunlight because that's what that's what plants eat they use the act of photosynthesis which you can look up what photosynthesis is but they use the act of photosynthesis to create food for us so think about it like this the sun which is why all the ancient peoples worship the sun because people figured that out in ancient times oh shit the sun all it does is shine light on these plants and these plants literally are growing things that we eat now what dr sebi realized was that same thing so he realized that when the sun shines on specific plants that came from the earth that are native to this planet they're this literally eating a live food these are things these are living beings like fruit is alive up to a certain amount of days so when you eat it you're eating living food Vegetables, fruit, water, all this shit can be programmed, right? If we know we can program the reality around us, if the food and the f and, and the water and the fruit and the, all the shit that you eating is already electrically alive and, and it's filled with the necessary shit for your body to become strong and you're eating this on a daily basis while you're programming it with your own thoughts because remember... You are are uh, you're a multi-dimensional being, so you're already speaking to things telepathically all the time. Anyways, that's why you shouldn't really always believe what you're thinking. You're only supposed to be observing your thoughts at all times. Now, programming these fruits, vegetables, drinks, all these things, because eventually, the the life within those beings that are created from the sun eventually will die and when you eat dead food you don't get nothing from the food it might have nutritional value but the most nutritional value you're gonna get is from alive foods which is what that dr sebi's diet is actually about it's about alive foods and this can work for humans and primordial people okay so amino acids you if if you can't get all of them get the main ones and you can get on Google or you can just wait until my album comes out and you can buy a T-shirt and my book and my album comes with this T-shirt. OK, you buy one T-shirt and you get a book and an album written, produced, mixed, mastered by Lord Shu himself. OK, all you got to do is get the main ones. So get on Google and type in uh, essential amino acids. You get those in your body. After that, look up superfoods. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it simple for you. Just look up superfoods. You get the amino acids in your body. That the essential. Hey, what's going on, Void Thought? Welcome to the live chat. Right now, I'm talking about uh, the keys to the island, which is a system that I I basically put together over 20 years, and I'm just explaining uh, a molecular diet. But welcome to the chat, man. Man, woman, I'm not sure what who you are, but namaste, much love to you. So, when you eat these essential amino acids, you eat superfoods on top of that. And remember, these foods are alive because I explained the process of photosynthesis. Oh, I'm green because green is... The heart chakra is based in the heart chakra. So when y'all looking at me, I'm good for your heart chakra, <laughs> which is why I'm green. Plus, I follow a philosophy in life known as the green man philosophy. And basically, this means that I have a never ending thirst for knowledge because the more I learn, the more I realize I don't know shit. <laughs> So consume it, the proper amino, essential amino acids, 
All I do is read. All I do is study. You take superfoods. You drink water that is naturally filtered by the earth, Mother Earth herself, which would be spraying water. Oh, yeah. Alan Watts is... I actually just watched a video uh, on Alan Watts today. That's crazy. <laughs> Alan Watts is the truth, y'all. If y'all want to look up some new forms of philosophy, Alan Watts got some good philosophy. And I was I would call it modern day uh modern day spirituality. Uh, new age and modern day spirituality to me, that's two separate things. See, Alan Watts made it to where one person can look at a objective reality and basically make a self religion or a system that they follow and basically what I'm talking to y'all about now you can you can create your own system to follow and by being the living example people will see you and the world will change around you but see with with that type of thought you start to become god <laughs> so Balance. Balance is key. Always remain humble and keep your humanity. Because when you start to shift into those type of thought forms, you begin to start thinking that, you know what I realize a lot of times with people, they start to believe that they're over people because they have knowledge, which is why I always tell y'all on these streams, the more that you study, the more you realize you don't know shit. Information is to the perspective of the user observe but never live wholly by one specific thing <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow yeah <laughs> hey man she was in a lot of good movies though <laughs> I think she was she was actually in Shallow How I don't know if y'all ever seen that movie Shallow How with Jack Black where he uh he um He's dating this girl. Goop. Yo, that's that's the uh that's that blog that she has, right? Goop it that's I I've heard of actually I've been on Goop before. That's a that's a blog that's on the internet for y'all who might not be aware of Goop. But yeah, Gwyneth Paltrow be on on Goop talking about some wild shit, yo. Yeah, new ages. Look, <laughs> that's why I be like, man, people who people who uh get involved with androgyny on the level to where they got people, they they're almost like forcing androgyny on their kids. People should first live life as how like everybody's normally been raised like baby boomer life honestly i feel like baby boomer life first runs you through hell and then once you start to grow into yourself you hit puberty and you start to become a teenager and shit like that you start to have those spiritual impressions on your own and that's when you can develop like i was saying with alan watts that's when you can start to develop your own your own perspective and your own your own spiritual system to connect what with source and higher power like all all that shit where people just online just like spread in their their androgyny to the point where it seems like oh you got to believe you got to believe this this particular path is going to lead you like that's why I told y'all in the beginning of this stream you should always find your own way to grow into becoming and becoming self of course and having your own connection and relation with higher power it should never be okay you got to read this doctrine this doctrine is going to lead you to enlightenment enlightenment is individual i'm telling y'all it's individual to each person why you think there's so many different types of gods there's so many different types of religions now because this race of people listen to the one leader who, okay, this guy sounds like he knows what he's talking about. So I'm going to listen to him because he's going to help me get to my enlightenment. But you can do this on your own. 
the best thing that life has offered us with free will is that you can literally go on google.com i would prefer you go on duckduckgo.com because google is tracking the shit out of you but you can go to the library you can get in your parents ooh entheogens okay so give me give me a a small summary of what what this is and I'll tell you how I feel about it. You can go anywhere in the world and you can go to all these different cultures and you can read all this different material and you'll realize that all this shit is just people observing their thoughts and they putting it on paper. You can do the same thing observing what other people thinking about shit. When you start to, the, the real secret is that pattern. Just produce a non instead kind of religious spiritual purpose. Oh, how I feel about it is certain things in your life, like I said, are meant for you to observe and let them pass through. If you feel like you need a substance or a chemical to connect with higher power, ain't nothing wrong with that. If you feel like you got to read hella books to connect with higher power, ain't nothing wrong with that. If you feel like you want to live a mundane life and somehow and through that living that mundane, simple life and just being simply happy and you find your alignment through that, so be it. See, chemical substances, plant origins, all this shit is, this is subjected to the user. Some people, there, there are people who um, live a harder life who might have gone through traumas that therapy can't help them with. Just certain traumas might be just way too intense for them to break out of. Because when you're going through trauma in your life, you can be stuck in a loop. Some people become addicted to trauma. Shit like that, chemical substances actually can help people break out of trauma. That's just like uh, on previous stream I did where... Uh, shrooms actually can help you with those same things. When you go through certain things in your life, having certain people and or substances can actually help you move into a better state of what you what you want out of your life. Hmm, I wouldn't say I've had my ego death yet because I think having an ego is healthy, and that's just me personally. You know. I feel like uh, to be proud of your ego, but to be balanced with your ego makes it easier for you to come across with certain people because you're still a part of humanity. I feel like having an ego death almost makes you go off into a realm of enlightenment where you don't want to, I wouldn't say you don't want to deal with people, but you start to realize that everything around you is just distraction and everything is illusions and even the things that you do are illusions. But I like my humanity. I like to stay in the mix. Exactly. It You chop the head off. It will grow back. But it will grow back better. This is true. But I feel like I have a healthy, a healthy enough relationship with my ego that... Mm, I just... I To me personally, I don't feel like it's necessary to have one. Because... The more that I've experienced in my own personal life, I always tend to go back to my ego. At one point in my life, and this is just my personal experience, I was I didn't understand myself and I was very afraid of being a part of the world, just very antisocial. So for me, I had I felt like I had to really work on creating myself and being who I felt within myself who I wanted to be and to be able to help people do that on a healthy level as well Advaita Advaita see this is this is why we have this is why we do this chat shit this is why we come on here and drop game see shout out to void thought because we really having some real conversation on here and more people y'all join in we could talk about some real shit today on me 
So give me a summary of what Advaita is. Advaita. Because I'm curious. Because you got some shit for me to read about already. <laughs> hey, shout out to Void Thought, though. If y'all if y'all watching from the outside this Twitch stream, please, please, please. The depth of non-duality. Oh, alien magic. Okay. This is a, it, it's a philosophy that helps you understand the depth of non-duality. Yes, I'm about to check this out today. As soon as I get off the stream. I actually went past my stream today. So this is what we gonna do. First, I wanna thank everybody who came in the stream today for rocking with your boy. Much love to everybody who support the channel. If y'all watching this from the outside, please make a twitch and subscribe. Oh yeah, void thought for real. If if you got Instagram or you got social media, please follow me on my social media so we can we can talk for real for real. Like you my kind of people for real. Like we family now. Shit, you follow me on here, you subscribe to the channel or whatever. I don't know how this shit work. I'm still new to this. It's like my second month streaming, but you family, so it ain't shit to it, man. Oh, so you the man then for real. Hey, well, let's see how you social media now. I don't own cell phones. Hmm. I see you again, player. For real. We gonna chop it up. For real. <laughs> you my kind of people. Cause for the longest time, yeah. For the longest time, I I, do, I stream every day at six p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, I make music live on here at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, we gonna talk. Oh, I'm, yeah, much love. Same to you, bro, for real. Much love. Namaste, man, for real, for real. Everybody who watched the stream today, y'all already know what it is. I'm Lord Shuex. You just watched another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. If you haven't been to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, check it out. I just added my press kit. So if you are a industry figure who's trying to uh, do a show or you want me to come to your venue and perform, my press kit is in there. Also, I got some products on my website. If you're interested in notebooks and writing things down or you're interested in reading some material about life and love and everything in between, y'all check that out. I'm out this bitch. I'm going to show the commercial one more time before I go, though. But then I'm out this bitch. <laughs> Submit hub. Okay, bet. Much love to you. Hey, y'all, if y'all... Y'all need to make a twist just so y'all can follow Void Thought. Because he, he's the real deal. He, she, it. I got I to gotta start being aware of that. I can't just assume everybody's a man. That's terrible. <laughs> he, all right. All right, brother. Much love to you. Old man. Shit, we both old men. Fuck it. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to holler at you, though, Void Thought. And I'm going to take you up on Submit Hub. For real, for real. I'm going to see what that's about today, man. Matter of fact, let me type this in my joint. For sure. Much love to everybody, though, y'all. Y'all be cool. Lord Sh Shuex is out this bitch. Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed can of brew from the fucking stove